Welcome to Best Beats Ever. Where we reconstruct the greatest beats ever made. I'm Rebel Sun. And I'm David. Together we go by Barrels, Barrels and Sun. Sun. Today we're looking at the Tupac featuring Shock G and Money B track. I, I get, get around. around. Produced by the late Shock Jesus. The late great Shock G. Shock right, Jesus, yo. And the D-Flow production squad. And also co-produced by R&B singer Howard Johnson. The track was written by Tupac, who ghost wrote Shock G's verse and also features Money B of Digital Underground. Released in 1993 off of Tupac's second album, Strictly For My Niggas. So today we're going to remake I Get Around because it's one of the best beats ever. So if you're new to the channel, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Everything that we do is going to be in the session in the link below. That's right. All the presets for the plugins and VSTs That's you're going right. to see, we're going to leave it for you. All you got to do is open it up and get involved. That's right. Learn, Learn something. something. <laughs> the story goes in an interview with Vlad TV. Money B talks about how the beat was originally supposed to be an exclusive digital underground beat. They knew they had a hit in their hands, so the beat went to a rapper named Safir. But then Tupac came to Shock G looking for music to complete his album. Shock G gave it to Pac. Pac wanted Money B and Shock G on it. And the rest is history. That's it. All right, so we're going to start out with the drums on this one. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yo, let's get to the drum show. The sample from the Honey Dippers classic, Impeach the President. Ladies and gentlemen. It's one of the greatest drum breaks of all time. So we're going to take this piece out. And this piece right here. This piece here holds down the whole swing and the whole groove of the whole track. That's right, man. Without that swing, it won't it won't sound like that. Nah, not at all. So we're gonna edit this real quick. All right, all right. And then to give it some more body and more thump, we added the Waves EQP 1A, the Puig Tech, added a nice little thump like this. Next, we're gonna layer the break with the Roland TR-808. First with the hi-hats. The kit. And then we'll put the 808 on the one of every measure. You know what I mean, keep it funky. Uh, all, right. all right, and now with the break. All right, next you got the keys. The originals on the track were played by Shock G himself. Round, round, round these hoes go. I got the electric 88 open. The chords go like this, check it out. And then the beat evolves, you know, you got this other layer of keys going. For that, we got the electric grand 80. Right, and then for the bass, we're using the Mini V by Arturia. We're going to set that preset called Club Sub. It's going to hold down that groove. All right, so for the mids on the bass, you know, just to thicken it up, we went for the Mini V preset, 3-0-SC. And then you just open up the filter cut off a little bit. Mix it in with the sub bass. All right, so for the intro, it's got those chord hits in there, you know. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna take the the very first chord of the electric eighty eight. Yeah, yeah. Drag that over, and then the first note of the mid and sub bass. We're gonna drag those over too, and we get this. Right, the last thing with the keys is of course that run in the beginning. Sounds like a real piano was used on the original track. So we're gonna use the Grand Rhapsody for that. So put that with the other keys, drum and bass. All right, next onto the samples. The original sample comes from the legendary group Zap and Roger Trotman's song, Computer Love. Yeah. All right, the first sample is right here in the song. So we're going to chop that out. We'll slide it over with the rest of the music. I'm just going to warp it. 
then increase the speed. We'll raise the pitch up two semitones to match the keys in the bass, and we get this. Now in the original, it sounds like either Shock G or somebody is like triggering the sample straight off a of vinyl, and then adding a couple scratches in between, you know what I mean? And we don't got a turntable. No, we don't do that. And so to emulate that effect, we're gonna just chop up the sample like this. We'll consolidate this chop right here, then reverse it, chop these up a little bit more, give them a little more space. And then we're just gonna take this part out. And then let's take it off the grid a little bit, keep up with the swing of the drums. And then we're gonna put Waves Retrofy on it. We rolled off some of the lows and highs, touch it up with some vinyl noise, and we get this. We're gonna copy and paste it throughout the main loop. So from the top, and it sounds like this. I get around is in the hook and it comes from the same song, it comes from this part. You know so same thing, just chop it out, drag it over to the hook. We're gonna warp it. I'm gonna bring up the BPM, speed it up a little bit. I'm gonna chop off this end piece and leave room for the other sample. You know Let's bring the pitch up two semitones just so it matches everything else. You know Last thing we'll do is add Retrofy again, and this time with different settings. You can see we rolled off a ton of lows, some of the highs. Then we ran it through the device, then added some vinyl noise. And so now with the two samples together, you get the hook. The very last thing is, of course, the step up sample for the hook. The original comes from the band Thunder and Lightning from this 1974 song, Bump and Bust Stop. Step up front! So we're gonna chop out that step up. Step up front! Let's copy and paste it underneath the hook. Let me copy another one. I'm gonna go ahead and play the drums along with it. It's gonna help me line it up. Step up! Step up! We're gonna create a chopping effect. Chop out that step. We'll copy and paste another step up. And so far we get this. Step up! Step, step up! So we'll put one more step up. And now we got this. Step up, step, step up, step up. And that's the step up sample part. So let's copy and paste a couple more of those for the rest of the hook. And then we're gonna throw another retrofy on it. Again, rolling off some of those lows and highs. We're running it through the device to give it a little more character. Step up, step, step up, step up. Also step with a little up, bit of that vinyl up, noise, you know, up. to make it sound older. And now with the rest of the beat. Step up, step, step up, step up, step up. Yeah, man, that's pretty much the whole beat, more or less. You know, same 30-second 30 30 second loop, loop. Yeah, four minutes. <laughs> Facts. Shock G, man. Yo, I mean, this track is just genius, if you yo, ask me. I, yo, I remember when I first heard Digital Underground, like my first joint. Do what you like. Yeah, you know I mean? I don't know. Like, you know <laughs> there, there, that was my joint, yo. The Humpty Dance. Like, yo, he always had that. He always had that bumping, like, real party sound, swing, and he was heavy on those piano chords, which I always love. Definitely, definitely. Rest in peace, Shot, Shot G. G. Make sure you check the link below. We left you with the full session. Everything's in there. All the presets, everything all the tracks. Everything ready to go. Everything ready to go. You mm -hmm. can just open it up and get involved yourself. If you, you know like the mean? content, give us a like. Show your boy some love. That's yo, right. Subscribe, real. subscribe, subscribe. That's right. That's right. And also, once again, I think you came... We came pretty close this time. Yo, like I said, everybody. I think it's damn close. I would say we hit monies. We hit that pay dirt. If not, you know what to do. Hit us up in the comments. Below. You know what to do. I'm David. I'm Rebel Sun. Together we are Barrels, Barrels and Sun. Sun. Till next time. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching.